happy friends welcome to my youtube channel and today i have a layout for my double vision series that i had been doing um over the summer i am reprising it back um <laughs> finally after a long time of not doing double pages i am going to be doing some more double pages i'm not sure how many i'm going to do but i'm gonna try to do some more because I really enjoy doing this series and I really enjoyed the thought process that goes behind when you make a double page layout. I'm thinking that I will probably try to do some different things this time and that I didn't do last time. Um, but I am working on this layout right here. I have four photos that are three by four. I actually really have been enjoying using this size three by four. So it's actually not too many photos, um, and that's on purpose, and also, um, yeah, and there's going to be a ton of journaling. So this layout, basically, uh, the reason why I'm doing it in a double page is because I know I want to do a whole page of journaling. So I took a piece of white cardstock and... And then I took this other piece that looks like uh, a notepad or something, um, but it reminded me of like uh, when you go to the doctors and you see their file charts, which is why I picked that paper. And then I picked that dinosaur paper because this is a layout about my son. So I wanted to, it to have some elements of fun to it, even though this layout necessarily isn't about fun, but it's not, you know, so but I wanted to catch that or get a glimpse of that innocence part of this, of why I'm doing this layout. And so, um, which is why I'm using the, this cute boy collection and I'm picking, I'm just trying to pick out some sentiments and different pieces that I think will go along with telling my story. I really want to keep this base, pretty basic and pretty simple. I'm So I'm trying to decide what I want to do down here at the bottom. And I'm thinking having like three, like almost like a grid style down at the bottom, like three little elements that are separate, but that I can layer on. And at first I was thinking I was going to use that card from Simple Stories, or not Simple Stories, that's Pink Fresh Studio. But I thought about using that, but then I decided that I didn't care for it. And uh, so I am going to take that off, but I do keep the tags and I covered up that boy tag and I'm going to cover up the word that says boy. So I kept the tag, but then I put on that little dude piece because not that I minded it saying boy, because a lot of times I just go with it <laughs> because I mean, you know, we can't always make everything work for our page, right? I mean, sometimes we have stuff and we like it and I mean, otherwise we'd be searching for, through all our stuff. And that takes, especially when you're doing a double page, it really, it takes twice as long because you're looking for embellishments for two things, for two pages. So, um, but I just felt like for this layout, I didn't really need to iterate that it was a boy. Um, I don't know. <laughs> don't get, I, sometimes my thought process when I'm doing it, I'm like, oh, I don't want this element. But then later on, I think about it and I'm like, well, little dude isn't really any different than boy. But, you know, I really wanted to capture, like I said, this essence of my son just being like, hey, you know, um, because when he's older, he's going to look, probably look at this and he'll be able to read it and he'll be able to see a different side of something. And so, yeah. So now I'm looking through uh, some click kits, like cards. I was just looking through a couple of um, months that I have that I haven't used. And they also had this Hello Adventure. And I'm really thinking I want to use that. Uh, and this is from an old kit from, this, from the fall time. I think it's like their September kit, maybe. If I remember correctly, I think that's the last kit that I got from them. So I'm sorry that you're seeing me <laughs> play with my laptop. Sometimes I like to watch stuff when I do scrapbooking, though I don't because it takes twice as long. But so I found this card that says I love you to the moon and back. And 
I'm thinking I want to use this because it kind of, it really is a sentiment that is close to my heart, obviously, uh, because this layout is about my son. And I really just wanted that element of that I love you no matter what, right? So, okay, so let's get to the, the backstory of this because this layout actually did not take too long because I kept it really, really simple. So all of these pictures are different perspectives and different elements. And you can see there's a, a hospital wall that has the time. There was um, a picture of my son's hand and his cars, a picture of his hand. And if you look, you can see him and but but he's blurry and I really focused on his fingers and then a picture of his sisters brought uh, gave him some toys of their stuffed animals and so there's those in his hospital bed so this is a layout about when my son was diagnosed with diabetes he over the summer while we were moving he was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes which is different than type 2 because it is an autoimmune disease compared to type two, where it's where your body just stops working because you've eaten too much sugar. So it was nothing that we could have done. This is, I, so anyway, it's nothing that you could do. Kid, kids who get type one diabetes, uh, usually it's not because they've eaten crappy or um, it's just sometimes their body stops, their body attacks itself and it attacks by attacking the organs that work that deal with insulin and stuff. But anyway, so this was a very crazy and scary moment when it happened. And I am super glad I made sure I took quite a bit of photos, but I tried to take a different perspective on the photos because I didn't, I knew being a scrapbooker and starting through this process. And I knew this because of, um, if many of you don't know, my oldest daughter, when she was my son's age, so when she was four, she was diagnosed with leukemia. And she's healthy now, and she's in remission, and she's been cancer-free for, gosh, like four years now. Um, and so we're, you know, life has been very different for us. But so when I first started scrapbooking, um, when she was diagnosed or when she was diagnosed, I wasn't scrapbooking and I started scrapbooking after. And so going through that process and learning how to, and learning about scrapbooking and how it's such a big role in my life now, I knew that when my son was diagnosed, like when we brought him to the hospital, I knew I would want to document it at some point, but I knew I wouldn't want to focus on the horrible stuff because anytime you have a child that goes into the hospital or someone sick in your family, it can be really traumatic. And there are like, you know, you you, people look different people, you know, there's a lot of different traumatic elements to when you go through something like this or other times in your life where you go through, um, a crazy and chaotic, situation. So whenever you want to scrapbook this kind of stuff, I think you have to be mindful almost ahead of time. And it's really hard because you never know. I mean, if you've been a scrapbooker for a long time, then sometimes your brain can think different ways about going about it. But um, it's like focusing on the, the traumatic parts of, of, of what's going on sometimes can be not as helpful to growing and documenting your story. So, and I say all this because I knew I wanted to document it, but I knew I didn't want to make it scary and I didn't want to, to focus on all the bad parts if I could help it. But I did want to tell the story. So I made sure that when I told the story, I just kind of said what was going on. I didn't really go into detail about how we felt about it. Some of it is, is we're still, I mean, he hasn't even been diagnosed for a whole year. So we're still going through this process of how we're feeling about this new thing in our life. And I think as he gets older and as we start going through and learning things, I will be able to better put down in other layouts, 
my thoughts about it, but I really just wanted to get documented kind of what happened and what led us to the point to bring him into the hospital. But I didn't want to show pictures because um, I took a couple of pictures of my son when we brought him into the hospital and he looks horrible and I don't want to remember that just like I had pictures of my daughter when she first was diagnosed with leukemia and just because of how traumatic everything is and how crazy it is so much stuff goes on so I really wanted to remember moments that were special and sweet about our stay. So that is what I tried to do, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really didn't talk a whole lot about what I was making, putting it down on the page, but I kept it really simple. And um, I really like the fluidity between the two layouts. They, I tried to use similar colors and things and elements on both pages so that it connects them two together so that you know that they, they do in fact go together. So. I hope you guys are excited for this series because I'm going to do a lot of fun layouts and not all of them are about crazy crap that happens in my life. But I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you guys later with another episode of Double Vision. Bye!